Merlin showed up for me for the very first time. It was 2004, Fort Collins, Colorado, Midtown, right along a green belt. I was living at the time in this huge apartment complex, one of those huge apartment complexes up on the second floor. I had the I had a deck that looked out onto the back of a green belt and one day after I got off work from the independent insurance agency that I happened to be working in as I at the time I didn't know it but I was you know deconstructing out of family stuff and um, I was going through a divorce with um, coming out of very emotionally and mentally abusive to uh, toxic ma mentally and emotionally abusive toxic marriage and I had gone through a pretty severe psychic awakening at that time as well and one day I got home from work and I could feel myself by spirit team be ushered out onto my deck and this was a little abnormal because I wasn't used to coming home and having spirit world go here do this do that and they were doing it that day and I got ushered out onto my deck along this green belt the, the weather was very nice out and I got told to sit down and the next thing I knew I could feel this really big energy presence show up as I tuned in to the big energy in front of me, it, the being revealed himself to me as Merlin. And yes, the great big mythical sorcerer with the hat and the beard and the staff and the cloak. Yeah, he was, he was all there. He was all there right in front of me. And at the time, I didn't know it, but at the time, what this was for me was an initiation <clears throat> and what I didn't understand then and it's taken me a long time to understand is like initiations don't happen in like those wonderfully painted pristine mom moments of everything is spiritually perfect and then you go through this gateway and then everything just magically happens no <laughs> initiations a lot of the time happen when your life is a freaking mess and it happens when everything's been deconstructed and your life is just rubble on the floor around you and initiations happen when you have really really big choices in front of you at that place and that was what was going on in my life because i was questioning family marriage job having having a psychic awakening like that was a lot to process in a very very short period of time and so Merlin showing up at that moment was like like I kind of sort of got it but it was a little bit offsetting and at the same time though I knew something really big and powerful and precious was taking place and it's at that time that Merlin walked me through my initiation and I got asked questions about my life and what directions I wanted to go and what turns I wanted to take and I got to make those I got to make those decisions and these were the things that I told Merlin I want my psychic gifts to stay on I want to do good on the planet I want my gifts to be able to help better people's lives heal people's lives mine included and help and help better the path and Merlin took that in like he listened he he took that in and as this whole magical process was going on with him that evening I got walked through energy paces I was uh, given oaths to take as far as how to use my gifts with integrity and discernment and have a moral code with them and I was also shown very powerful things that I was going that I was going to be doing and all of this, this happened in an, in an energetic shroud on the deck of a green belt in the middle of Fort Collins, Colorado in 2004. Now, the other thing that my spirit team wants me to talk about um, real briefly here is that um, 
When light beings show up to help initiate us through into new parts of our life, because I know there may be some, some of you listening to this and going, oh my God, that's happening to me right now. My life is in rubble on the ground and I know I don't want to do life the way I was doing it and I want to do it in this new way, but I'm not sure. And you know, maybe there's light beings showing up who, who are working with you. And one of the myths that I want to um, shatter at this point is that like Merlin showing up and doing this initiation with me was not, it was not an overnight thing. It wasn't a one, two, like the way I'm telling the story, it sounds like it was like a one, two, like first he was not there and then he was there. That's not how it happened at all. This is the other part of the story that you need to know is that in the days and weeks leading up to Merlin, me being ushered out under the deck and Merlin appearing and all the great flourishing happened in the conversation and you know, all this stuff going on. Um, the days and weeks leading up to that, I went through a process of realizing that as I saged out my apartment, like energetically cleared my apartment so I didn't have any Whoopi Goldberg moments of beings trying to dive into my body and channel to other people because believe me, that did happen. So I was regularly clearing my apartment, creating a light bubble, you know, stationing light beings as pr protective light beings so that I could have and hold my space. As I was doing this and doing this, I began to notice that there was this cobwebby, shrouded lump of an anchor point in my bedroom that I couldn't get rid of. And the more I tried to clear it, the more it wouldn't leave, the more I tried to clear it, the more it wouldn't leave, freaked me the fuck out. Because I would come home from work and everything was all you know good and then there was this energetic lump that wouldn't move. Well, finally, push came to shove. I finally got over my fear. And at one point, I finally got really clear with in intent of looking into energetically seeing what this was and asking what this was. And that's when it began to shift and move and begin to take shape. And I began to see, oh, this is a light being. This is an ascended master. This is as this light being unfolded into the great being that it is, turns out it was Merlin. <laughs> now, it wasn't too long after I pulled him out of the corner that my initiation happened a few days later. There were a few days in there where I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. This is, this is not cool. I, I don't like this. But as he began to take shape and reveal who who he is who he was i began to go oh i'm like i i'm i'm walking with some big guns here like at that point in my psychic journey and my path all i had allowed myself to think that i was working with were like spirit guides and you know Elm, you know, elves and gnomes and some angels. Like I, I was all like, let's mid-level this. Like I didn't want anything bigger. I didn't want anything bigger than that. I couldn't handle it. And so when I found, figured out and found out, holy fuck, this is like an ascended master, a grand master. This, this is, this is Merlin. You know, that sent me over the edge for a little bit, and and I actually kind of pushed it off for a bit. But it was like. A few days later, a few days after that, I came home from work that one day and I got ushered out onto the deck and Merlin came out onto the deck with me. I could feel him and see him and, and I could audibly hear him. And it was basically an energy of, it's time. It's time for the initiation to take place. He didn't use the word initiation. I came to that much later into understanding that's what it was. And that's when it all, that's when it all began to happen. So I am sharing this very personal, precious story with you at this time, because I see this happening for so many more people right now. What was an anomaly for me in 2004, I believe 
is becoming and is more the standard and the norm for the awake and aware population on the planet. And so if this is you by chance, take heed.